Hey everyone, and um, welcome back to Hayes Kitchen on day five of Rat Week. Thank you so much for all the love and comments this week. It seems to have gone down really, really well. Now this is one for you vegetarians out there. We couldn't end out, we couldn't end the week without a decent vegetarian type wrap. So, slight twist on this, I'm gonna be doing beetroot falafels with a, um, a really, really, really easy tzatziki style yogurt. It's not tzatziki, but it's very close. We're gonna be using garlic and um, cucumber. Gives it a lovely freshness as well. Um, so let's get cooking. We have got simple ingredients today. So we've got um, one whole diced white onion. We've got a tin of chickpeas. Wash them through thoroughly, please, because they smell horrible when you first take them out. They're just organic ones. Uh, we've got some organic spinach. We've got um, five or six freshly chopped chives. We've got an egg. We've got some gluten free. Now, a lot of you have been saying about the whole gluten thing. You don't have to use gluten free. I just don't eat gluten. It's not particularly good for myself. I have a few problems with it. Um, the same as I don't really eat a lot of wheat because I, I definitely get a lot of bloat from it. Um, doesn't mean that you don't have to stick to that, okay? So just get that one straight clear. This is just my preference of cooking. This is my alternative ways. Um, doesn't mean I'm strict paleo. Just means I like to eat fairly clean. Um, so we've got two slices of gluten-free breadcrumbs, like I did with yesterday's video. All that is is food processed up. We've got a little bit of um, organic gluten-free flour and uh, wheat-free flour. We've got a couple of teaspoons of salt and pepper, three whole cooked beetroots, half a cucumber, um, one and a half, two cloves of crushed garlic. Now we've got some crushed coriander seeds, easy to get in any supermarket. If not, just use fresh coriander. And we've got two tablespoons of cumin. Let's get cooking. First up, let's get a pan up to heat. And into that, you're just gonna add a good knob of butter. Well, I hope you've all been enjoying Rap Week. Um, let me know if there's any other things you want to do for like a topic or a, um, another theme type week. Maybe we could do something like a sauce week, maybe, or I don't know, a salad week. Let me know what you think and um, I'll come up with some ideas for you. Now, into that, you're going to add your, your diced white onion, okay? And all you're aiming to do with this is to soften down that onion and just sweat it out slightly. You don't want any crunchy hard bits to go in here. We're going, to, we're going to be lightly frying these anyway and then putting them in the oven so they'll soften up perfectly. So just basically you're looking for a little bit of browning on the onion, not too much. And as soon as they start to soften, we can go in with our next ingredients. Right, you can see they're just slightly sweating down now. And at this point we're going to add our spinach. And we're going to add our cumin powder as well. Smell that lovely cumin powder coming through now as well. It almost gives it that sort of curry, sort of chilli sort of smell. Right, you can turn the heat off on that. Basically the spinach itself will just slowly wilt into it anyway. And then we can fire up the food processor. And we are good to start making the actual falafel. Right, so your onions are pretty much done. Into your food presser, you're gonna add your chickpeas. Into that, you add, add your beetroot. Um, into that, you want a good pinch of salt and pepper. Your coriander seeds, or your fresh coriander, depending on what you've got at the moment. Your chives. And your egg. A little bit of your breadcrumbs. So I'm going to add half of this at the moment. Then we're going to get our onions and spinach. Smells pretty damn good. You're ready. You can see they're just lovely and brown. They're just sweaty. You want to make sure they're not too crispy. Just tip the rest of those in. On with your lid. We're done. I was gonna add another bit of beetroot in there, but to be honest with you, the consistency of that is absolutely perfect. Um, you don't want it to go too wet and sloppy, so to speak. Um, so that's what you're looking for. Nice and fluffy still, so when you bite into it, it's still got little air pockets in there and it's not gonna to be too um, claggy. Nothing worse than the claggy falafel. Good name for a band, wouldn't it? Please welcome on stage, claggy falafel. With your tray, you're just going to put that in the oven so it's nice and hot. Take little pieces like that, roll them up, and you want the pieces about that big. 
You're gonna go out, back out with a little bit of flour. Once you've rolled your little ball, just a tiny little bit of flour just on the outside. Pat them down. Pat them down either side on the flour and they're good to cook. Little patties. I tend not to do these in balls. I try and do them as like, like, almost like little mini burgers, but vegetable, vegetarian burgers, obviously. Just a very small amount of coconut oil. Grab your falafels and just lay them into the oil. Couple of minutes either side. Now what you're going to do is grab your tray out of the oven, which is nice and hot. Pour your falafels on top of the tin. Back into the oven for about five to, five to seven minutes. While we're doing that, we might as well make our yogurt. Right, ready for the simplest yoghurt in the world. Plain yoghurt, I'm using Total. Don't think I mentioned that in the ingredients at the start. I'm not gonna go and re-record it, so plain yoghurt, okay, Total. Um, I've got a cucumber. Just slice this in half. Now, I want this quite chunky, okay? Nice and chunky. Pop that in. Into that, you can add chopped garlic. Stir that through. That needs a little bit of lemon. So, I'm going to go in with half a lemon. A little bit of pepper. That's your yogurt done. Right, falafel's been in for about 10 minutes, okay? They can come out the oven. I've made up just a light mix salad here. A little bit of olive oil over the top. It's just gonna give me some vibrant colors there as well. Falafels look pretty damn good. Yeah, they're good. Grab yourself your wrap. A couple of bits of your falafel. I just like to split them open generally. Good amount of your salad over the top. You want some of your, your yogurt dressing over the top. And this one is definitely going to be a messy one. Gotta do this every time. Now with your sharp knife, straight down the middle. Looks pretty good. Perfect beetroot falafel with a cucumber yogurt um, garlic style tzatziki with a um, finely diced carrot and beetroot lettuce and olive oil salad. I suppose with that at the end of the week, I better say, that's a wrap guys. Cheers then, see you next week, bye bye.